and get ready to see Jaden Sancho gracing Wembley in an England shirt in the years ahead. Tonight he's in the yellow and black of Dortmund and will pose a huge threat. And before the game tonight, we will have a moment's respect. Mario Goetze will play as a striker. It's four changes from the Hoffenheim game in the Bundesliga. And there are the two captains, Hugo Lloris and Mario Goetze. Uh, Jan Vertonghen is a wing-back this evening. Lucas Moura is also in from the start. There's still no Harry Kane. It's been a strange preparation for uh, Lucien Favre. Some runs in there as well, as will Aurier, who's going to get forward as much as he can down the right-hand side. Dahu gives it away to Harry Winks, who spotted the run of Son. Just needed a touch, didn't it, from the south. Challenge one there by Davinson Sanchez, and Mora struck it so well. Great technique from Mora. Vertonga does well on that left-hand side. They keep the ball alive, Spurs. It's a good header. Just watch that knee there. Cushions it with his knee. And then a quick volley. Agonizingly wide. Great technique from Mora. Well, Lucas Mora's goal in Barcelona is the reason why Spurs pitzel. Now Delaney. Players. Nice pass into midfield. Off it goes from Jan Vertonghen towards Hyung Min Son. And the header back. First goal in the Tottenham shirt at the weekend and Christian Eriksen giving chase here but given offside let's make the run through the middle there's a lot of space on the other side for Sancho and Sancho's in here but it was well read by Alderweire for it's got himself into trouble here's Christian Pulisic and the first save by the knees there of Hugo Lloris a situation really that Tottenham created for themselves it's poor from Pulisic just watch the run of Sancho at the top of your picture. Pressurise the ball there, Pulisic. Goes that knee and post, Lloris has it covered. But just look, you can see now when Sancho, he makes sure he gets free from Vertonghen. All he's got to do is try and square it. Excellent play there by Pulisic, who was then caught by Aurier. He's going to get the first yellow card. At such a young age. Here's Aurier. Early ball in by Aurier, there was Sancho. Goetze. Drilled through the middle. Jaden Sancho. Defending for Davinson, Sancho's to do. Sancho's away, there's the ball. Excellent defending by Foy. That's another one of those diagonal balls from Alderweirel to Aurier, and then on towards Lucas Mora. <laughs> one back though by Witzel, who tries his luck, and down went Lloris. Eriksson. Vertonghen, better from Tottenham. Testing cross, which in the attack finds Lucas. And he has Eriks, and he sets up Son. It's a really his son of men. Given away by Hakimi. That was Toby Alderweireld. Flicked on by Son, but Diallo having a run. Davinson Sanchez didn't get there initially, but. Goetze. Sancho more assertive now. Top Sissoko. Sissoko finds Lucas. To link with Son. Takes on over top rack. And he tracks that well wide of the mark. Well, Roman Berkey is in the best form of his four seasons at Dortmund. Doesn't matter where you stop it, but what part of the body. It's a vital intervention as well. Most otherwise, Lucas just had to roll the ball into an empty net. That's what Tottenham want to get. They want to get 1v1. Can they get Son against Toprak? Laney. Going to have a pop himself. And Maurice was unconvincing. It's come out for Goetze. Well, the game just opened up in the last few minutes. Good play from Goetze. And then they create an overload in the wide area. Laney doesn't use Norris. And it looks from Maurier's perspective he's going to. That created the extra. Maurier is one point. And it's hit first time by Eriksen. But... Tottenham are going to play three centre-backs, they need one of them to step up and affect the game in a constructive way, yeah? Yeah, definitely, he's been the one to do it. You know, he does take chances, but it's wonderful play, wonderful link-up with Aurier. Just has the presence of mind to pull the, back, the ball back for Eriksen, who's just a little bit too far behind him, but nonetheless, it's wonderful play from Foyt. Sancho's cross, the second is header, Maurice did just enough. Norman there, uh, driving the ball across the line, but 
typically agile save by the Tottenham skipper. And they just switched off. He allowed Dortmund to do a 2v1. Just see Sagadu at the far post. Up against Voigt, gets well above him. Give credit to Voigt because I think it does get up. Ball hits the back of Voigt's head and it just slows it down. And it's a good save from Lloris, but from Tottenham's perspective, I see the Kimi. Ball ran kindly for him. Sancho to Hakimi. The cross is deflected. Ball is clipped on the edge of the penalty area. No, way on. Well play weighed on. Sancho convinced that he was brought down. Well, here's the challenge. You see Sissoko. <laughs> here's the Tonga. In towards Son! Second half is just 70 seconds old. Son Hyung Min continues his scoring spree. And Tottenham Hotspur have the lead. Crucial late goals in each of the last three Tottenham matches all here. He scored early in the second half tonight. One of the biggest smiles in football is beaming again. Well, we talked about the Tongan being an unconventional wing back. Well, this is absolutely brilliant from him. It is a very conventional winger's cross. It's a wonderful ball. It's great movement from Sun. He just gets on the back of Zach. Here's for Tongan. <laughs> Maybe not on his right foot, but it was a, a bold wing back's run from Jan Vertonghen. Well, the two centre backs, Zagadou and Toprak, they don't look happy. Playing a higher line now in Vertonghen. You know, we spoke about the problems he was having in the first half. Well, it's a complete role reversal. In the second half, Tottenham taking the game to Dortmund down that side and, and like enjoy himself down this side. He's found Son once more. Caught by Delaney. It's going to be a, a yellow card for Thomas Delaney. It's going to be a free kick in a very promising position for Tottenham. The only downside is the injury to Son. It's a wonderful turn from Son. Had one thing on his mind, he did turn Delaney. He was probably going to look to get a shot off then. Delaney just completely bamboozled by Son. And when we talk about Son, I think at times we're only now starting to see how good he is. I think we've known how good he is, but now even more so because previously there's Deli Alley, there's Ericsson, there's Kane. And it was poor one from Ericsson's Son. Lucas is on the move, but Son asked him to. Ericsson doesn't quite get the right angle on that. Lucas Mora. Not waiting for support. He wants to run over top rank. Who'd love to make these bursts from midfield. Jan Vertonghen in towards Son. Oh, here's a run by Pulisic. Cross comes Sanchez. Mike still coming in. Oh, this near post header by Aldevaro. Well, here's Christian Eriksen suddenly. And Zagadou did well to recover because Zagadou's first senior game for two and a half months through injury. Here's Eriksen. Posted by Orient. Checks for Vertonghen. Oh, what a night he's having. Jan Vertonghen makes it 2 0 for Tottenham. Set up the opening goal at the start of the second half for Son. And now his third Tottenham goal in more than five years. They don't happen very often. Has really given them the advantage at the time. Jan Vertonghen. Well, in the first half, he certainly didn't look like a left wing back. His second half, he's looked like one of the best left wing backs in world football, the way he's been getting forward. An assist for the first goal. And then this one, the second one, he just gets on the wrong side of Hakimi. Hakimi can never get back. What a great finish that is. That's not a centre back finish. That was a centre forwards finish. And finished here. Ericsson takes. And they scored again. Fernando Llorente has come off the bench. And Tottenham are clear. 3 0. What spirit they've shown in the last few weeks at home and now abroad. These crucial late goals are no coincidence.
Tottenham stay the course, and Fernando Llorente, who's had his ups and downs, that's for sure, scored a late win.